Well, I started going on a trip off in the mountains to visit some family, and I realized, you know, as I was starting kind of halfway here, I thought, this is kind of a good opportunity to maybe share my experience with a couple of things. Number one, the big rage and what a lot of people are talking about as we get into the colder winter months, kind of the first winter of a lot of Tesla Model 3s out there, and people are kind of recording their experiences with the overall performance of the battery in the cold weather. So I thought this is a great opportunity to not only uh, take a look at what the colder temperatures do uh, to the battery, but also the elevation because there's quite an elevation gain uh, from when I had started uh, from the trip, about, a fi about five th 500 feet that is starting where I started. And then I, th I think the highest elevation I got up to was around 6,000 to 6,500 feet. So quite an elevation gain in there as well. And uh, we'll kind of talk a little bit about uh, what the battery and what that did to the battery in general. So to kind of give you an idea, starting off, I wanted to give the battery a full charge. And what I found interesting actually is that it got up to about 306 to 307 miles and it was said it was still charging, but it was very, very slow at that point. And I think it may have eventually got up to about 310, but I'm not exactly sure at this point. It was kind of weird how it was kind of going between 306 and 307 and really wouldn't go up higher than that. So maybe it was fully charged, but it continued to say that it was still charging. So I found that kind of interesting to kind of start off the bat. So we'll go ahead and say that we started with about 306 to 307 miles on the charge, all right? And then, and then we went on an 85 mile trip. And to give an idea on that 85 mile trip, we're now down to 171 miles uh, on, the, on the battery. So certainly not the 306 to 307 it had promised in the beginning. But again, what we were dealing with were two things, two things going against the battery. Number one, those cold temperatures we've been hearing about. And number two, the elevation gain. We started at about 500 feet elevation above sea level and the highest we'd eventually reached at one of the mountain passes was about 6,500 feet. So we had been going up at quite an elevation gain as a matter of fact. So we had been going up a lot and of course again dealing with those cold temperatures as well. So what's going to be interesting is on the way back down the hill to see how much slower the battery will most likely deplete because obviously we're going to be dealing with a lot more regenerative braking. So again, it's going to be interesting to see overall toward the end of the trip just what the battery rates as far as mileage is concerned. Just to kind of give you a proof and an idea that what uh, kind of roads we were dealing with here. And I'll be sure to take some video of the, the roads on the way down so you can kind of get an idea. But you can see how dirty the car has gotten from all of the sand that the uh, snow plows had put on the roadways. Uh, I don't think they use salt out here, but I could be wrong. But you can see just how dirty the car has gotten. Uh, and uh, right now, as I mentioned earlier, the temperature is about 47 degrees outside. Here are the final results of the trip. And as you can see, since the last charge, which as you remember, I told you was about 307 miles for that charge. We went 202.4 miles on the trip. And you can see as we take you up here, that we still have about 60 miles left on the battery. So if the battery is projecting and estimated correctly, we would get, and we would get a total of 262 miles of, of, uh, on this charge here. So is that impressive? No, especially when we're supposed to get about 310 miles per char charge. However, as we all know, the battery does not perform as well in the colder temperatures. So on average here, based on the fact that we're dealing with the winter months and those colder temperatures, 260 miles on the charge, I'd say is pretty good when you average everything out and what typically people are getting on these colder winter months. I think it's safe to say that yes, indeed, the colder temperatures do have an impact on how much miles or how many miles you're gonna get out of the battery. But uh, all in all, I'm still very impressed and happy with the overall results. A couple of other notes I'd like to mention during the trip was that there were four of us, four average weight people. So the overall uh, capacity uh, wasn't overloaded as far as the weight is concerned for the car. Everybody had the heat warmers on, so that was really nice. And for the most part, they were all on full blast. And I did have to use the cabin heater 
about 75% of the trip and not necessarily because it was too cold for us because the, the seat warmers do a terrific job with that, but it had to really prevent the windows from getting too foggy so I could see outside, <laughs> you know, while I was driving. So that's obviously very important. Um, so that, those are kind of the, some of the main things. And another thing too, you know, because the main purpose of this video is to kind of talk about uh, how the colder temperatures have an impact on your range and it certainly did have that. And another thing to mention is the average temperature that I was dealing with was between 35 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And at sometimes it was even warmer than 45 degrees. And at some points it was even well below freezing. At the coldest that I mentioned earlier, it did get down to about 27 degrees at some of the highest elevations uh, when you get into the mountains. But uh, I do recognize the fact that I don't live in the coldest climate, all right? Because I'm sure that the battery uh, performance is probably not gonna be as good as you start getting into some of the colder climates like the Midwest and maybe even up into Canada as well. So I do recognize the fact that I probably am getting better performance out of the battery than some of the even colder climates. So that is my experience with the colder temperatures and my observations when it comes to the overall performance of the battery in these colder months or these colder temperatures that is. And it was another test also, and I did another video, and I'll, I'll of course be sure to uh, put a link there for you, uh, my experience with the warmer temperatures uh, going up and down in elevation and what kind of impact that had on the battery as well. So this kind of was a test of the colder temperatures and another just a mini test, if you will, kind of with that elevation gain and drop. And you know, I was mentioning that I was, I was gonna be curious to see what uh, how quickly you would see the miles drop with the battery uh, going down the hill and I noticed that uh, there was definitely much less anxiety if you will and again if I, that's lack of a better term because I didn't have any anxiety during the trip at all but I did notice that the uh, miles were dropping much slower in the battery as I was going down in elevation and going down the hill in general so that does have an impact as well you do get that regenerative braking going into the battery and that does help with the range overall. So I'd be curious to know what some of you all have experienced, maybe in some of the colder climates, if you are noticing a bigger drop or less performance in the battery than I did. Uh, because again, that's kind of my assumption is that if you are going into the colder climates, you're probably going to see even less range than what I did uh, based on my experience here. So again, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked what you saw here and want to see future videos, be sure to like my video as well. And by the or like my page that is, or subscribe to the page. And if you are still thinking about getting a Tesla Model 3 or Tesla in general, I will be, sh be sure to use my referral code as you will get that six months of free supercharging. Certainly a great benefit there. And I'll be sure to post that link at the bottom of this video or below it. So thanks again for watching. And until my next video, stay safe.